Okay, so in this video, I'm just gonna try to take out the driver and like get it separate. So first I'm gonna unscrew all the screws all back here because there's, these are not screw holes in the front. There's just nothing in there. Okay, let's see when they're all unscrewed. Okay, I, um, I got it loose. Oh wow, there we go. That just came off. Mm. Of course the screws are falling out. These are all the same size. Here's the middle passive. The air thing, small hole. Okay. And so that's the circuit board, obviously. Now, I'm not really sure where to go from here. Take out the battery. Oh God. Maybe just leave that then. <laughs> Feels kind of weak. Oh dang, there's screws in the inside that are holding the speaker in. I mean, I kind of knew that, but still. It's kind of annoying. Oh, what the freak? The whole board just comes out. That is actually a cool design. There are no speaker wires. See these two metal prongs? They just connect to the speaker. Neodymium magnet, expected though. Okay, there we go. There's the amp. Oh, cat. What's up, cat? I love you. Okay, this is the speaker. Basically what I have to do, it's hard to see, there's four screws in there. I'll take those out and be right back. It is so hard to get them out because there's a screw on this side and then there's a broken piece of plastic on this side. So I have to like grab it with pliers and stuff like this. And then I have to unscrew it from the other side. So yeah, that's why it's taking a little while. And okay. Here, so, it's literally just a hollow shell now. These are not real buttons, it's all on the board. Okay, here's a quick overview of what's there. How about we get some free air? Look at this thing though. It's literally a flat charge for a flip five jabber. Why are cats like telling no? Go away. Okay. Let me hook it up. That's my phone playing. Look how simple it is. It just connects there. <laughs> That's so freaking weird.
It's kind of hard to show the spider. It's so thin. It actually has good flex, but... Okay. Let me get out the Flip 5 driver, and I want to try that one. So this is only the GG, but like... Um... <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say JBL takes the win. more flex too. I want to see if I can do something like that. Nope. It's too big to even go to the hole. I'm going to wire it with some separate wires. Okay, so I was actually pretty surprised when I did some testing. Watch this. This is connected to the, to the anchor amp. Full volume. So you get the point that this thing is a really weak spider though so i give it that anyways real quick i'm gonna try this on the flip five amp on normal mode well okay this is like 25 to, this is 35 percent volume <laughs> There's a lot more DSP on the flip side. I don't want to blow it. Turn on low frequency mode for a second. Here's no frequency mode. One second. Ah, this is like forty five percent. I'm no frequency mode. Oh god, that's not. Wait, what happens if I 